All right, so here we have a superposition and equilibrium problem, and we have two positive charges. Um, on the left, we have a 20 microcoulomb charge, positive, and we have a 5 microcoulomb charge on the right. They're separated from, uh, by a distance of 0.11 meters, and your job is to find out where along this distance in between them can you put a 1 coulomb um, micro. I'm sorry, 1 times 10 to the negative 6 coulomb charge um, where it would feel zero net force. So you know initially that you have these two positive charges and your positive charge that you want to place inside is going to be repelled by those two charges. Um, the left charge over here is stronger than the right charge. It has... Um, more of a charge. So you know that it has to be farther away. So just kind of um, estimating where you would put this charge, we would say maybe about here. But we don't know that exact distance. That's actually what we're solving for, what distance you would have to put this at. So what you would have to start with then is saying, well, this distance from zero, where you're starting, to this new distance, we'll call that x. Well, if the total distance is 0.11 meters, then you know that this piece on the end here has to be 0.11 minus x. Okay, that's going to be a key issue here. So, next let's take a look at what it means to be in equilibrium. This charge here needs to feel a force, it's going to feel a force due to this one, um, to, the, to the one on the left, and it's going to be pushed away in that direction. Well, this one on the right is also going to push it away, but in the left direction. So what we want here is these two forces, we want them to be equal and opposite in size. So what you can say then, if we call this one A, this one B, and this one C, you can say that the force of A on C has to equal the force of B on C. So now we just plug in our equation for um, the force. So we have K, which is just a constant, times QA, QC, and that's the absolute value, all over the distance between them squared. We'll call that R1 squared. And that has to be equal to K, same thing, QB this time, times QC, all over R2 squared. Well, right away we can see some things that will cancel out initially. We get rid of the k's, you don't have to worry about those. And also notice that the, the charge in the middle actually doesn't matter. So we can just cancel those out. So what you're left with is qa over this distance. Now this first distance here, r1, is just this x. So we can call this x squared. That's going to be equal to this qb, and this distance now is this 0.11 minus x. So all you have to do then is just make sure you put it in like that. So from there, we can plug in our charges, and we'll see that something else cancels. So we have 20 times 10 to the negative 6 over x squared, and that's equal to 5 times 10 to the negative 6 over point one one minus x the whole thing squared notice that the times 10 to the negative six is cancel out so that's great for us because we don't have to uh, worry about all those exponents there so now in order to mathematically move on we have to cross multiply so we can just do that by going ahead and multiplying this here so 20 times 0.11 minus x, and instead of putting the square there, I'm actually going to write this out so it makes more sense as we expand it. And then that's going to be equal to this 5 here times x squared. Note another thing, we can, we can factor out the 5s on both sides. So we can get rid of that 5 and we can change this to a 4 because 20 divided by 5 is 4. So now all we have to do is we have to get this we have to get this equation that we have here in terms of um, what we would use for the quadratic formula. So we would want it in something like this: ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. 
So now we just have to rewrite this in that form. So let's move over here. So let's multiply through. So we have to start with, we're just going to write 4 times point zero one two one minus point two two x plus x squared is equal to x squared. Okay, sorry for the sloppy writing there. Um, but that was just me multiplying 4 through and the x, um, you just use our FOIL method if you look over here. You just multiply that by that and that by that and then this by this and that by that. And that is a FOIL method taught in um, algebra. So then you just go ahead and from there you can multiply the 4 through and so you have point zero four eight four minus point eight eight x plus four x squared is equal to x squared and so now we need to get that x squared on the other side so we can have a zero on that side so you just minus subtract that and you're left with three x squared so you can just rewrite this and rearrange things then you have three x squared minus point eight eight x plus point zero four eight four and that's all equal to zero so now we have it in that form ax squared minus or plus bx plus c is equal to zero so now what you do is you just do the um, quadratic formula you can do that online um, or in your calculators if you have the program but you just get each of the coefficients so a is three B is negative 0.88 and C is positive 0 0.0484 and what you're going to do is you're going to actually get two different x values. You're either going to have 0.22 meters or you're going to get 0 0.073 repeating meters. Now one of these is going to make sense. We said that we were going to put it in between the two charges and point 2, 2 would be double this original distance here. So this one actually can't be true. So the only one we're left with is 0 0.073 repeating, and that would be somewhere around where actually I placed it. So there you go. That's the answer, and that's how you solve superposition in the equilibrium problem with force.